Sagittarius. Welcome, Sagittarius. We're going to do a general read for you today. In this general read, we are going to look at your current energies, your desires, your outcome, what is working for you, and what you may need to be aware of. That said, uh, we'll clarify all of that, and then I'll pull three more cards at the end of the reading to see what else just in case there's any other information that you may need. So, current energy. Da -na 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 -na. Ace of Swords. Seems like you guys might have been going through a little bit and have really needed to puzzle and think your way through what is going on. Uh, the nice thing is, is that it seems to be working for you. Because what comes out in your desires is for the four of wands. So for somebody that's kind of like, hey, you know, I just want life to be sort of stable. Maybe, um, I don't want to say predictable. But, you know, it's got enough excitement in it. But yet it's got enough stability in it. That type of thing. And then the outcome is the moon. Now the moon... <laughs> It's kind of like things aren't quite as they seem. You may feel a little overwhelmed with your emotions. Um, what's working for you is the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is an important decision. Something that needs to be done. Um, or made it just like which way do I go? <clears throat> What's working for what you need to be aware of is the six of swords. This is the idea that you know, let's head with the flow. Let's stop fighting the waves. Let's head with the flow. You know, stop fighting the headwind, if you will. So let's start to clarify. Ooh. Well, it seems somebody's been really in their head, uh, and not just a little bit. We have the Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups, and the Magician. So we have all these hopes and dreams and wishes that are starting to be fulfilled or that you've been thinking about. One of them being what you're wanting to manifest in your life. And the other is that you're wanting to manifest sort of your hopes and dreams, but the other thing that you're trying to manifest, it seems that you're trying to manifest some type of love, a new love. Which, of course, would then bring us up to the Four of Wands in Desire, which is that whole thing of <sighs> possibly marriage plans. Creating that stable home where it's exciting, it's a great place to come home to. And that's clarified by the Devil, the Empress, and the Seven of Wands. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this might be a Capricorn or Taurus that you're involved with. But it seems to be, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck in this thinking of just, you know, constantly, you know, I, I want to be here. I want to be here. I want to be here. Why am I not here? Don't get stuck in that thinking. There's a lot of possibility. So for some of you, it's like the um, for some of you I get don't let somebody else call the shots all the time around this um, you're just as capable of creating this for yourself and manifesting this for yourself uh, and I almost want to say beware of being blinded Blinded by um, sort of all the things that that you want, rather than sort of compromising uh, this <clears throat> and sort of creating what do we want? You know, it's almost like I almost want to say beware of sort of self righteous behavior. Uh, the moon. 
Ooh, the Emperor, the Hierophant and Temperance shows up. Okay, so we have the Emperor and the Empress showing up with the Hierophant. This look definitely looks like a marriage situation. Um, be patient. Be patient with this. Be patient. Be allow yourself to be. How do I want to put? Um, allow yourself that freedom to go with this. Allow yourself the freedom to experience a different way of being. We don't always have to be the same person in the same relationship. Heck, the other person may not know who we were. So we can be somebody different if we choose to be. They are not going to know any different. It's kind of like, hmm, I want to try on a different personality. I want to try being a different way. Um, but acting in a way that's enlightening. <clears throat> it is really, really interesting to see the Emperor, Empress, and the Hierophant uh, show up. And your energy, which is temperance. Two of Swords is what's working for you. And this is kind of the... I kind of get it that what's working for you is, is the sort of wait and see type of thing. Maybe there is... Um, maybe there's a couple of boundaries that between you and this person that need to be put down and you're not willing to cross those boundaries. That's kind of a good thing. Um, especially when it seems like for some of you, you've come out of a, a period of deep introspection where you've, you've been sort of, I almost want to say in solitude, this seems very like solitudinal, if that's a word, where you've really kind of built this dream of this 10 of cups and there's a certain rigidity around it because you've built it in your head. It hasn't been, maybe it's something that you have built uh, for yourself, but you're lacking sort of that last final ingredient. But somebody can enrich that so much more if you allow them to build that dream with you. The Six of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> So beware that as things are going smoother, they're going smoother because, you know, they haven't just gone right for a long period of time. There's been a lot of work that you've put in. There's been uh, a lot of things that kind of have just fallen apart for you. And it seems that as you get clear, these things have had to happen to you so that you can get very clear of what you will tolerate uh, within your circle. <clears throat> let's pull three more cards around this okay these ones are sticking out uh this is kind of weird um oh they wouldn't go back in the deck so i'm gonna pull them okay this is crazy uh, we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords showing up. So a match. Now, this might be for some of you that you were walking away from somebody that you thought was your match uh, with the King and Queen of Swords here. But what really is happening is that you're walking away into something that is your emperor. So if I go back to this sort of stalemate stuff, Maybe this was something that you built with this person <clears throat> and you're a little reluctant to let it go. That comes back to like, okay, you know, you've worked so hard to create this and all of these things sort of go through, but now you're like, okay, I'm done with that. It's easy to say that you're done with something, but it's another to actually take the lesson from it but sometimes we're too scared to take the lesson because it hurts or it brings up feeling. It's easier just to tuck it away in our heart somewhere. <clears throat> Sagittarius, that's what I have for you today. For those that are new or who have not subscribed to my channel, I would invite you to do that. For those that are returning, 
Um, thank you for coming back. Thank you for being here. Thank you all for being here. It does uh, keep me motivated to do this for you. Best of luck with this week, Sagittarius. Uh, we'll talk to you next time.